Okay, getting back to Genesis, um, got to finish at least chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1. But before I do that, I want to read to you, um, again, some of um, Job chapter 38, all the way through, um, I think, all the way to, um, to 13. So you can see what I'm what I'm talking about. And Jehovah answered Job out of the windstorm, "Who is who is this who is obscuring my counsel and speaking without knowledge? Brace yourself, please. Like a man, I will question you, and you will inform me. Where were you when I founded the earth? Tell me." If you think you understand, who set his measurements in case you, you know, or who stretched a measuring line across it, into what were his pedest pedestals sunk, or who laid his cornerstone when the morning stars joyfully cried out together and all the sons of God began shouting in applause. Um, shouting in applause. Um, right here in another Bible translation in the King in the New King James um it is giving you uh Job chapter one verse six when the sons of God enter into his presence and then the devil enter with them. Um, so it's giving me a, a reference um, of that. Um, so, okay. And who barricaded the sea behind the doors when it burst out from the womb, when, it cloth, when I clothed it with clouds and wrapped it in thick gloom, when I established my limit for it and put its bars and doors in place? And I... And I said, you may come this far and no further. Here is where you proud ways will stop. Have you ever commanded the morning or made the dawn know its place to take hold of the ends of the earth and to shake the wicked out of it? So right here, the sons of God, they have witness. It seems like they have witness. Um some of creation um, so you have it right there in Job 38 okay um, so now we're going to go to Proverbs we're going to go to Proverbs 8 we're going to go to Proverbs 8 okay does not wisdom cry out and understanding lift up her voice she takes her stand on the top of the hit of the high hill besides the way where the paths meet. She cries out by the gates at the entry of the city, at the entrance of the doors. To you, O man, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O you simple ones, understand prudence, and you fools, be of an understanding heart. Listen, for I will speak of excellent things and from the opening of my lips will come right things for my mouth will speak truth wickedness is an abomination to my lips all the words of my mouth are with righteousness nothing crooked or perverse is in them they, they are all plain to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge Receive my instruction and not and not silver. Wow, that's deep. Receive my instruction and not silver. That's deep. And knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than than rubies. And all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. I wisdom dwell with prudence. And find out knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is that is to hate evil, pride and arrogance, 
and the evil way, and the perverse mouth I hate. Counsel is mine in sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me kings reign, and rulers decree justice. By me princes rule, and nobles, all the judges of the earth. I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently will find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yes, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I traverse the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, that I may fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way. Um, right here on 22 down, it seems like the Spirit just enters someone, and it seems like Jesus is speaking right, right here on 22 and down. Watch, check it out. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I have been established from everlasting, from the beginning, before there was even an earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains, abounding with water, before the mountains were settled. Before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet, while as yet, he had not made the earth, or the fields, or the primal dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. Um, wow, that's deep. Um, when he drew a circle. On the face of the deep. Wow. This means. He drew the earth. When he. And we're talking about Genesis. We're trying to. Um, wow. When he established the clouds above. When he stretched. Strengthened. The fountains of the deep. When he established the clouds above. Wow. When he assigned to the sea its limit. Um, see, he's talking about God right here. He's talking about, about God. And someone was there. See, it seems like Jesus was there. Um, so you see, um, when he drew a circle on the face of the deep. Um, wow. Anyways, um, let's go over here now. So I won't get distracted. So that the waters would not transgress his command when he marked out the foundations of the earth then i was beside him as a master craftsman and i was daily his delight rejoicing always before him wow um someone was right there with the creator rejoicing in his inhabited world and my delight was with the sons of men. The sons of men. Whatever that means, sons of men. <clears throat> now therefore, listen to me, my children. For blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise. And do not disdain, disdain it. Blessed is the man who listens to me. Watching daily at my gates. Waiting at the post of my doors. For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sins against me wrongs his own soul, and those who hate me love death. All right. So we got that down packed. We got Job and Proverbs 8 down. So we got to continue right here. <clears throat> We got to continue with um, um, 21. Okay. And God created the great sea creatures, 
the monsters um, and all living creatures. Um, I mentioned on the other video that whales, the whales, they're kind of like monsters. And it, it kind of takes like 10 to 13 years for them to grow its length. But throughout more years, they just grow like, like, like bigger, like, I mean, fatter, fatter, like fatter wise. Um, but you see 10 to 13 years, so they're, they're already monsters. So I'm, I'm pretty sure if it was like a dinosaur or, or some other type of animal, I don't think it will take a hundred years for a dinosaur to grow that big. Okay, those, those are just some of my thoughts. Okay, and all living creatures that move and swarm in the waters according to their kinds, and every winged flying creature according to its kind, and God said that it was good. With that, God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and become many, and fill the waters of the sea, and let them flying creatures, let the flying creatures become many in the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, a fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, domestic animals and creeping animals and wild animals of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so, and God went on to make the wild animals, wild animals. I kind of searched that up. Wild animals, what are wild an animals? <clears throat> and, man, one second. We're on 25, verse 25. Wild animals. Um... Uh, jeez, wild animals, um, wild beasts, wild beasts is right there, uh, kayat, chayat, kayat, wild beasts, it's, um, you will find it in H2416, um, that's where you'll find it, and the other one, um, I think it's um, 2416, yeah, 2416, and, oh yeah, we already talked about 8577, Tanim, 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 that's the Hebrew word for, for, um, monster, 8577, okay, let's go over here, you see, God is so powerful, let me show you another Bible verse, I wrote it, I wrote my stuff down kind of sloppy, um, real quick. In Isaiah chapter 24, 23, you see, um, we admire the sun, the moon, the stars, everything else. But right here on this Bible verse, you're going to see that he's, he's, uh, the sun is nothing. The sun, the moon is nothing for God. He's way more powerful than that. And the sun, he placed it perfectly the way how it's supposed to be. Um, if he would have placed it a little bit lower, we would have probably burned to death a little higher. We would have freeze to death like perfectly. It's set right there perfectly to give us light and all the nutrients that we need. Also, um, they say vitamin C, vitamin D or something. Um, but anyways... Let me show you right here, Isaiah 24, 23, and it reads, The moon will be ashamed, and the sun be put to shame. Um, the sun will be put to shame, and the moon ashamed, ashamed, shame, for the Lord of armies will reign in Mount Zion, whatever that, that means. Um... Lord of armies, Jehovah armies, the Lord of armies, the Lord of hosts. That's what they, other Bible translations, that's how they say. Um, so right here is telling me that the sun and the moon are going to be ashamed. You know, when you're ashamed, you kind of shame or ashamed. You kind of hide. You kind of like, like don't want to be seen. So that's how powerful he is. Um. Uh, Okay, let's continue. I think we left off in 25. Um, and God went on to make the wild 
animals, wild animals, kayat, a wild beast of the earth according to their kinds and the domestic animals according to their kinds and all the creeping animals of the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let us make man in our image. Right here, this is a, a complicated verse for me. Um, because um, first is saying, um, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. It seems like he's talking um, to someone, someone else, someone. Um, and we already seen um, Proverbs chapter 8. We've seen um, Job chapter 38. And right there, it seems like he was probably talking about them on, on chapter 8 and um, Job chapter 38. It's, it's, it's what it seems like it to me. Um, and let them have his, okay, and it has a little comma, right? So like a little pause, um, according to our likeness, a little pause. And let them have subjections, subjection, the fish of the sea and the flying creatures of the heavens and the domestic animals and all, um, and the domestic animals and all the earth and all the earth and every creeping animal that is moving on the earth. So how, okay, so how is this in the human race? How can this Bible verse apply? Um, is it applying to who? Who's it applying to? Is it applying to the to both parties? Um, I don't know the. Um, the sons of God or the human race. I, I don't know. Um, that's um, I'll get back at this one. Um, probably um later on. Um, I'm still searching on this Bible verse because according to my understanding, um, you see he's talking to Jesus or the angels according to our likeness, and then it stopped. And then now he's, he's talking about the human race. And let them have subjection. The fish of the sea. Now he's talking to the humans. That's what it seemed like it to me. Um, but anyways, I don't know. I will find out. Oh, man. And 27. And God went on to create the man in his image. You see, one man. He hasn't created... Um, Adam, yeah, this is, uh, what day is this? Uh, I think this is day, um, we'll find out right now. Because it seems like God created Adam on the seventh day. So maybe he's just repeating something. Maybe God is repeating something that is going to come soon to the theaters near you. Um, <laughs> Adam, um. I don't know. Um, or he's talking in advance. I'm not sure. In advance of the human race. I'm not sure. And God went on to create the man in his image. In God's image, he created him. Male and female, he created them further. God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and become many. Fill the earth and subdue it and have in subjection, um, subdue it and have subjection, the fish of the sea and the flying creatures of the heavens and every living creature that is moving on the earth. So he give this to man. Now these days they will sell us a fish. Um, they will sell us water, uh, fish, water, and and all, everything, fruit, everything, those cells that now. Um, anyways, then God said, Here I have given to you every every seed bearing plant that is on the entire earth, and every tree was with seed bearing fruit. Let them serve as food for you, and to every wild animal of the earth, and to every flying creature. Of the heavens and to everything moving on the earth in which there is life. 
I have given all green vegetation for food, and it was so. So you see, God prepared himself with all these things to take care of us so we could survive and so we could, um, um, how you say it, um, um, what's the word? I just missed it. It's somewhere, um, so we could multiply, I guess, the human race, um, Okay, green plants, herb. Oh, what is this common saying for food? Okay, so we're on 31 now, verse 31. After that, God saw everything he had made, and look, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, a sixth day. So, a sixth day. So, um, there's chapter one, um, for you. All right, then. Bye.